Hey, this is Rod from Ram City. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install an SSD in this quite old MacBook Pro 2009 model. And you can follow this procedure for just about any of the Apple MacBook models. As far as the equipment that you're going to need today, obviously you'll need your MacBook. You're also going to need a any static mat. So I like to use this large one so I can spread out any static wrist strap. Now this is just so that you can protect your equipment from electrostatic discharge. And if you'd like to learn more about electrostatic discharge, have a look at this video. With the wrist strap, we just use the alligator clip to attach it to the edge of the mat. Make sure the machine is actually powered off and not just hibernated. And we need to disconnect it from the power. You're gonna need some screwdrivers. So uh, a Phillips PH00 and a Torx T6. You can buy them individually, but this is where I like to use the iFixit 54-bit driver kit, and that's got all the bits in it that I'm going to need, plus a whole lot more. Um, and of course, you are going to need your solid-state drive. So this is a Crucial MX100, so it's Crucial's newest model of uh, SSDs. Really good value, really high performance, and Crucial make great products, so that's what we're using today. So th in this video, we're just going to be showing you how to actually upgrade the hardware. Now, if you want to uh, firstly clone your existing factory drive and um, make sure that you've got your apps and all of your other existing settings ready to go, then have a look at this video and we'll show you how you can clone your existing drive. So to get started, just need to flip your MacBook over and we're going to remove the screws from around the edge of the case. Okay, so now we've got the screws out, we just take the lid of the case off. So this is where your existing factory drive is. So it's just held in by a um, fastening bracket and we need to remove that bracket. So we can use your BH00 to do that again. And the bracket just lifts out like so. And now we need to lift the drive out carefully and it's attached by the serial ATA connector cable so we can just wriggle that out and at this point you need to remove these screws from the edge of the drive so this is where you need your Torx T6 bit to do that. So I'll switch the bit over. Now we just put these little torque screws onto the new SSD. So you attach the serial ATA cable back on. You've got to be care just be careful you don't pull this cable because it can break the connector. Make sure it's firmly on and back in the guide slots and then we put the fastening bracket back on again so we need to switch back to our PH00. And now we're ready to put the case back on. And that's it. So that's the job done. That's the drive installed. Now I've already pre-cloned my SSD. So if you did the same thing, you can just simply power the machine on and you'll be straight away working off your new SSD. If you um, wanted to learn more about how to clone your SSD and you missed that at the beginning of the video, well, have a look at this other video, which is a, will show you exactly what you need to do. And thanks for watching.